Michel Patineau, representing Quebec, Le Bavillier Jusquina, and Charlie Bilibou. This is going to get good, too. Lou Bob and Charlie, new tandem, skated with former partners. Lou Bob, part of Cirque du Soleil. She's taking it to the ice now, and they've got something special in store. But you talk about pressure and skating order. They've heard the score, and that matches their best score this season. program choreographed by Marie France Dubre and Guillaume Caesar. Oh my goodness, this skating is sublime. Such ease across the ice. And through every movement. Toughest element for them, side by side, triple sows. Hanging on. Hanging on, barely. Blue Bob is not the most flexible skater in skating. She's very close. Watch this. Brand new pairing, they have to dig deep at the end of this performance. They are so good together, will be so good together, but just not enough tonight to match Walsh and Michaud. The misses are going to be costly in Mississauga. Calm yourself.
skin. Are some of those little glitches that were there tonight, they were a little shaky. Is that because of the newness of this team? Absolutely, it's because of the newness. I was uh, really impressed by their effort on the side-by-side -side jumps. They got those done early. Here's a look at their opening twist. The way he holds her and guides her is quite touching. It's really beautiful, the energy between them. Uh, a touchdown, just a little glitch there. But Rod, a big step forward, but you can see Lubov's face there, the tension in it as she's going into the throat, and what happens is the pair elements come so quickly. We watched uh, the throws in warm-up, and they were handled easily, but at the end of this free skate, when your legs are gone, she has nothing left. And you can just see that in her body. Wasn't able to fight for the landing. And so those mistakes, too costly. They they will still get some big scores for the components, for the artistry. That lift because, at the end. Well, oh. it's just the things they do that nobody else in the world does. The fluidity that in such a short time, how far they've come. Congratulations to Richard Gauthier, his, uh, his work with these two. It's, um, he's, you know, such a pairs master and being able to get them together in such a short time. Marlene Picard has been helping them also with their elements and uh, and the side-by-side -side jump. So. And the Lubido, whatever you call that lift at the end. That, that thing is... <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, and the flexibility is uh, a huge strength, but it's also a liability. It's much more difficult to control your movements when you have that incredible range that Lubov does. One team to skate. More towers and Marinero out there. They were just patching up a little area where Ilya Shishkina had fallen. Topek there. And Bit of a blemish on the ice, they fix that. So they skate last and a chance again to deliver another Canadian title back to back. What a delightful pairing this team has become. They're so much fun to watch. They're so much fun to listen to after. They know exactly what they're doing at every moment out there in terms of the tabulation and numbers. There is a wait here as they are tabulating the numbers for Lubov and Charlie and trying to get some of those GOEs and impossible deductions. Highly unlikely that it's going to be as close to Walsh and Misho who began the night behind them. Well, you know, it's just the co the mistakes they made were too costly. I think the judges are just having trouble finalizing. I believe the marks are in. They just uh, are short one judge finalizing. So More Towers, Marinero, they have a long wait trying to keep themselves cool here. That could be troublesome at times. We'll see. Lubov and Charlie would need 125.06. And aren't going to get that. Walsh and Michaud were 125.95 to move into first. So they're going to be second here. There's the two points on the falls. They know what they did. They know what they got. They're going to win a medal here. Question is which color? Depends on what happens next.